One of my favorites. I'm glad you like that, Lori. I always like to throw a sonnet in. Every time I think of that, I always like to think I placed a sonnet upon it. <laughs> it's a little place in New Westminster called Java Jazz. I don't know if you've ever been there. It's great music, and the food's really good, but the music is just superlative. I mean, it's like, I don't know why these two people aren't the biggest stars in the universe. She's the best singer, he's the best piano player. But anyway, used to go there years ago, don't get there much anymore. And I wrote a sonnet about it. You see, we look around, you see all kinds of people that are dancing close, really madly in love. So here it goes. The sparkling, lusty nights at Java Jazz, we slow danced close while Salve sang her soul, and Eddie played the sweetest razzmatazz while we held hands in amber candle glow. And there we were, reflecting in love's eyes, the music, love light, dancing, and crab cakes. Your heartbeat wove the fabric of my sighs before you changed the pattern to heartaches. But if I think on Java Jazz and you, those magic melodies tug at my heart, and yesterday appears out of the blue. I feel the same old thrill as at the start. There are some memories even time can't kill. I love the way we were. I always will. I'll see if I can find a nice poem to make everybody happy. And I'll make this my last one because I know you have a lot of readers here tonight. And uh, this one, I don't know how well I've got it memorized, so I may have to cheat or make them up as I go. That's the nice thing about when you memorize something. If you've forgotten the words, it doesn't really matter because nobody knows the poem anyway, so you just make <laughs> some other ones up. And, <laughs> and it's, it's true. I learned that when I was doing music. People would be dancing you to forget something. He just sang some words that weren't even in the song, and everybody just kept dancing. Nobody knew. So. <laughs> but if you stopped singing, everybody would be looking at what's going on. So <laughs> This one's called The Depth of the Dance. The fading sun on the sand dissolves into moon drops on the water. The waves sparkle and dance like diamonds. The young days of sunbeams and moon glow, you and I casually playing with time and tide as if they could never change, as if we would never change. We want our beach of dreams alive with the breath of angels sewn inside the womb of time, a closer knit. We vibrated and sighed the title music, and we danced. Oh, how we danced. Today, I walked that beach alone. Yet, not alone, I watched an amber sunset usher in an evanescent moon over a surreal twilight ocean. I stood silently on the shore of eternity. Haunting memories rolled in on waves of enchantment and danced with the pale ghosts of yesterday. Oh, how they danced. Oh, how we danced. I remember the depth of the dance. Well, that's all for me, folks. Uh, thank you so much for listening. I think I'll indelibly imprint every one of your faces into my mind now. If only I could. Anyhow, thanks so much. Thanks for having me, Helen. Thanks for the wonderful introduction, Lori. And I shall now turn it back to Lori.